In this video, I'm going to cover six reasons why every single young man needs to be getting into the gym. Now, I started going to the gym when I was 18. Before 18, I was lost in life. I was unconfident. I didn't like the way I looked. I just didn't really enjoy life. I was quite clueless, directionless. I didn't know where I wanted to go with my life. And then once I found the gym, it just sort of changed everything. It was like the, the, it was like the trigger that just caused the, the first domino, the first initial push of the snowball down the hill that just started everything for me. It just like lit this fire inside me, just made me hungry for success, made me hungry to hustle and work hard. And before that, if you had told me before, Nathan, once you go to the gym, this is how you're going to feel, I wouldn't have believed you. I'd have been like, no, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just going to play video games. I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit at home and do jack shit, basically. I'm not going to do nothing. Whilst I'm not mad close to where I want to be with my dream physique, I've made quite a lot of progress. I'm going to show a picture on screen now of what I used to look like and what I sort of look like now. I've only got a back picture because I don't really take many pictures. I probably should take more pictures for myself and to like post on here or whatever. But yeah, these are just two pictures of how I sort of looked before. As you can see in the first picture, I was tensing my back and I was just skinny. I just, there was no muscle on my frame. Now, this is after I've been going to the gym for like three, four, five years now. So I've been going for quite a long time, but I've only really... I was consistent before, but I started taking it a lot more seriously, like over the past sort of six months, I'd say. So I've made more progress in the past six months than what I made in the past two years, for example. But yeah, as you can see now, I've got a lot more muscle in my frame. So because of this, I feel way more confident. I can actually fill out a lot of my shirts. I'm still quite slim, but yeah, I just I just look better in clothes. And yeah, look, look, I'm not massive. I'm not massive, but I don't look skinny. I've looked like I've got a little bit, a little bit of muscle on my frame, as I said before. Anyway, I'm sort of just rambling on now, so let's just get into these six reasons why every single young man needs to be getting into the gym now. The first point is self-love and confidence. You might feel like you don't like the way you look right now. When you look in the mirror, you might feel like you know, I'm too skinny or I'm too fat or you know, I'm skinny fat, whatever, and you, you're just not happy with it. You might have been bullied at school. You might be getting bullied at school. You might be bullied in your workplace. You find it hard to maybe take your shirt off like if you go on holiday. And overall, you're just, you're just not confident. You're just not confident in yourself, in your own skin. And I just think it's something that's that we all deserve. We all deserve to feel confident in our own skin and in our own bodies. And going to the gym and fixing your diet solve this. It literally solves it. I could 100 million trillion percent guarantee it will solve 95% of it. Because you do get some people that get so into the bodybuilding stuff that they develop some form of body dysmorphia, which is kind of like where you've got an amazing physique but you feel like there's something wrong with it when there actually isn't anything wrong with it it's just your perspective on it is kind of wrong but we're not aiming for that we're aiming to just be sort of 90 percent of the way there and that for us is going to put us in a position where we feel very confident in the way we look and also as well what you'll notice is the clothes that you wear you could get like this raggedy ass like crappy looking t-shirt that would look crap on anyone else but because of your muscles you make the shirt look good because what i believe with fashion is a shirt doesn't make you look good, you make the shirt look good. Especially if you can fill it out. So that's why you get some guys that's got muscle, a lot of muscle on their frame, like a lot of muscle, and they'll wear like a really baggy t-shirt, but it just looks really good on them. But then I'll wear a baggy t-shirt, it makes me, it'll make me look like my arms are a little stick. Imagine you can pull up to school and you're literally, when, when it's like PE or physical, what would you call it, gym class in America, and you take off your shirt, you're literally the most muscular guy there. That would feel good. I, I know... We shouldn't try and like stroke our little ego too much, but we have an ego for a reason, man. Like it's gotta be stroked sometimes. So it feels good to feel like, you know, I've got the most muscle out of everyone here and you know, it feels good. That sort of self-love is invaluable in this world because it's gonna help push you in so many different ways and different directions. Like if I was still skinny now, I guarantee you I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel because I wouldn't be confident enough. So if you can start a YouTube channel when you're skinny, you are a different breed. You're way better than I was. You're way more, you know, capable and, and have way more self-love than I did. I literally hated the way that I look. Imagine you can go to the beach when you're on holiday and you take your shirt off and you've just got like a little six-pack going on there. You've got a little bit of a chest. You've got some shoulders and some bicep, tricep action going on. A little bit of forearm muscle. It's good. There's only benefit that can come from that. And that's going to help you in every facet of your life. It's going to help you in business. It's going to help you just in everyday life being more confident. If you want to go approach your dream girl, your crush... You having the physique that you like is going to make you 10 times more confident. I can't think of one way that the gym negatively affects your confidence. Maybe apart from the fact that when you're at the gym, especially when you're a noob, when you're a beginner, you see a lot of these guys that have got way better physiques than you. But you can't use that to drag you down. You've got to use that as motivation, as like inspiration. Like, 
one day I've got to look like that. Like, yeah, I got like he's killed it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look like that one day. Point number two is for your mental well being. So a few months ago, I actually lost one of my dogs. I have two dogs. One of them is like a bigger dog and one of them is like a small Jack Russell. My bigger dog, he passed away like three months ago. And before that, I'd been going to the gym sort of four days a week, I'd say. And after that, obviously, we had to grieve. It was very sad, whatever, you know. Um, I took like two weeks off of the gym. And after that, I just felt like I had so much in my head, so many things that I was worried about and so many things like when you're grieving, especially, you just sort of feel like, nothing can heal it except time but then I said you know what I'm going to use this I'm going to use this and kind of go to the gym six days a week and from there man I've been going six days a week my progress is just skyrocketed man and my mind has been so like good like I don't want to get I don't want to get emotional speaking about this shit either because that's not what I'm here for I'm not here to to drag you down I'm not here to bring negativity to you but you know even dealing with grievance the gym can help with that being depressed I've been through phases in my life where I've been mad depressed and the gym has always been there for me you don't want to become so reliant on it that you know it is your only source of happiness and your only source of you know being mentally stable but we can use it as a tool imagine you're trying to put a nail in the wall and you're just using your hand like you've got the nail in the wall and you're just trying to use your hand it's going to be very hard it's going to be painful and it's going to take a long time but if you use a hammer and the gym can be the analogy for for the hammer if we use the hammer to put the nail into the wall it's going to make things a lot easier for us we don't have to use it, but it's a tool that we can use to make life way easier. And that's the way I see the gym. It's a tool that we can take advantage of for our mental well-being. And also you get a lot of days where you don't feel like going to the gym and then you'll end up turning up still. And because you didn't feel like going to the gym in the first place, you feel really, really crappy. You feel like so negative, but you still make yourself go because you think I'm not, I'm not, I'm never going to regret going to the gym. Like after my workout, I'm not going to regret having went. That's something that Hamza says all the time. Um, so you go and after the gym, you feel like, how the hell did I just turn my life around? I went into the gym, done a workout, and I just feel so much better. Like, it's so weird how that works. The gym is kind of a place where you can go and fight your inner demons because we have all of these thoughts in our head and yeah, we can do meditation, we can do all of these things, but this is sort of a way where we, it's weird. It's like you can physically combat your mental thoughts and it sounds so like weird that you combat something that's not real by doing something that's real. But once you get into the gym, you will understand. You just feel so much better on a day-to-day -day basis. You feel so much happier. It's like you've got this positive aura around you and everyone can notice it. Oh, Nathan, why do you seem so like, you seem a lot more happier today. Like, why do you seem, it's the gym. I went to the gym today and hit a new PR on my bench press and shit, I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. Number three is you get way more respect from other people, whether that's male, female, older, younger, just everyone across the board respects you more when you're in the gym working on your physique. Now, I notice a lot of people that get bullied when you're a kid are kids that are a bit bigger, that are a bit fat kind of thing. They always get bullied for some reason. Like, I don't know if you've seen online recently, there's like this kid that knocked on these, peop on these people's door and asked like if they've got any, um, if they know any young people that live around the area because they don't have any friends. And then they said, oh, there's the kids next door. And then the kid was like, oh, they're not my friends, they bully me. And I reckon, a lot of these, when you're a kid, I don't know why kids do it. They just target other kids because they're fat. It's almost like when you're when you're seen as bigger or when you're seen as ex extremely skinny, you're seen as not as good of a person. And yeah, life, it's, it's a bit harsh to say that. It's, ha it's harsh to say, like, based on your physique is how you're respected. But it's the way that we work as people. We respect people that look like they look after themselves more. Like, you're going to be way more, less likely to... Like, say, for example, if say, for example, if you're walking around in public, you're way less likely to get robbed to get to, 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 for someone to try and rob you or to try and steal something from you in public or assault you when you've got a big when you've got a lot of muscle on your frame, because you look like you look like that. You can fight. You look like you can defend yourself. It doesn't mean you can because most guys that go to the gym have never fought in their lives, but it's just the way that everyone else perceives it. They just perceive it that you you're hard or you've got your own back more. And this can apply at school as well. Your friends are going to respect you way more. If you look after your physique, if you're in the gym, they're going to stop fucking with you. They're going to stop, keep trying to punch you, giving you a dead arm. They're going to stop trying to always rugby tackle you to the ground and shit. Because they're a little bit shook now. They're like, mm, he's getting a little bit of muscle now. He's a lot stronger. And this can be related to, you know, attracting a female as well. Doesn't matter if you're younger or older, if you're a teenager, if you're a young adult, whatever. 
you will find it way easier to find your soulmate, to find the right girl for you if you have a bit of muscle on your frame. If you work out. Because A, you're going to be more confident and B, you just look better. You look better in clothes <laughs> and you look better without clothes as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, man, anyway, we just start going off on a tangent, man. Like, what is that? It's almost like when you have more muscle, you command respect. You don't have to ask for the respect is given. That's how it feels when you have more muscle. Point number four is your physical body is a representation of how well you look after yourself. Now, let me ask you this. If you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you see a flabby belly, you see man boobs, or you see your arms looking like chopsticks, you can see all of your ribs because you're so skinny. Your legs literally look like noodles. Or you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you see a chest, you see some abs. You see some nice rounded shoulders. You see some filled out arms, your biceps and triceps. Your legs look a little bit muscular. One of my main motivations for going to the gym initially as well was just the fact that I feel like I will see myself as a lot healthier if I have a better physique. Every morning when I wake up and I look in the mirror and I just see myself and I see muscles and I see like a decent bit of definition, I just feel like I'm looking healthy. I notice, especially, this is the main thing that I noticed. When I started to fill out more like around my waist and stuff and my arms started to fill out more and my, you know, just everywhere just started to fill out more, I just felt like I looked healthier. Like I didn't look like I was malnourished, like I, like I didn't eat anything. And if you look healthier and you think that you look healthier, guess what? You probably are going to be healthier. You know, with the gym, you've, you get some people who do decide to take these, you know, substances like, you know, some certain substances that are not that good for us or... I'm not really too keen on pre-workout, for example, because I think it's just not very healthy for us to have. So I don't use pre-workout at all. But I would say overall, in general, the vast majority of people that go to the gym are a lot healthier than the average person, like in terms of diet, in terms of what they're consuming. So you going to the gym is also not only going to improve your physical health in terms of on the outside, it's going to improve your physical health on the inside as well because you're going to be eating a lot healthier. You're going to be a lot more aware and conscious of the foods that you're putting into you because you're going to realise... If I want to gain muscle, I'm going to have to eat more protein. I'm going to have to eat less processed foods. So you're probably going to cut down on the fast food. You're probably going to cut down on the sweet, sugary crap. You're probably going to spend more time making your own food. You're going to be making your chicken, making your beef mince, making your rice, making your pasta, whatever it is. Point number five is the gym is the perfect example of replacing bad habits with good habits. Like I just said in the last point with fixing your diet and how, you know, you going to the gym is going to naturally make you eat healthier. That is one example of turning a bad habit to a good habit. You go from eating unhealthy to healthy. When you go to the gym, you're probably going to play video games less. You're probably going to go out drinking less or just stop it altogether if, you, if that's something that you do. All of these bad things that you do in your life, you're going to attribute to taking away from your dream physique or making you getting your, cheap, your dream physique take a lot longer. So you're going to think like, for me to get this physique, I can't be doing any of this stuff. So almost uplifts every other area of your life even without you trying how can you going to the gym make you play video games less i don't know but when you go to the gym you just play video games less and if you one day want to become a man of substance you want to become a man that people look up to and aspire to be like the gym is the first place that you start on your self-improvement journey the first thing i'd recommend for anyone that's young old whatever age is to get, in, to get started going to the gym that is the number one. Before meditation, before anything, I would literally say go to the gym. Even if you go to the gym and just do like a few reps, you do like one exercise and then you go home. That is just the start. And you're going to see everything falls into place. You're going to decide one day, I want to start meditating now. I want to start doing this business now. I'm not afraid. I'm confident. So all of these bad habits, all of these things that you're scared of doing, you go to the gym and everything else just starts falling into place somehow. Now, the last point, point number six, is going to the gym allows you to build a strong foundation. Now, what do I mean by building a strong foundation? When you're young, you're essentially, everything that you do when you're young is going to have an effect on you when you're an adult. So if you spend all of your teenage years eating fast food, as I did, you're either going to be fat or you're going to develop gut issues, which is what I developed. Really bad gut issues that I'm still trying to fix to this day because of what I decided to do in my teenage years. Now... Building a strong foundation, I think, is important because it's the same with building a house. You're not going to build a house on, on, on weak, wobbly foundations, are you? You're going to build the house on 
with a strong foundation so that the house that stands on top of it is strong and it's going to stand the test of time. And also as well, I always like bringing this up, the idea of just getting ahead of everyone else, getting ahead of your competition, getting ahead of your peers and everyone that you know around you. You going to the gym is going to allow you to start now and then in five years time, they still haven't started and you're going to be like way ahead of them. They're never going to be able to catch up to you because you started so early. You started at such a good time that you're just ahead of the rest. You're ahead of the pack. Why would you not want a head start? Why would you not want to... Because if you get if you put in the initial work now, you start to learn the right form in the gym. You start to build that initial foundation of muscle, that core level of strength in your body. You start to build that foundation of muscle on your frame. When you get older, you don't realise how easy the gym is going to be for you. Because once you obtain the physique that you want, you don't really have to push as hard. It's just sort of about maintaining now. And it's going to take a lot of years for you to get to that point of where you feel like I'm happy with my physique. I don't really believe that we will ever get to that point where we feel like we're completely happy with our physiques. But once you get sort of closer to it, the closer you get to it, I think the less hard you have to work if you know if you if you get where I'm coming from. In the initial stages of where you have to go, you have to go from, you know, you might go, go into the gym and start doing your dumbbell bench press and you can barely do like six kilograms because you're just very weak. You going from 6 to 20 kilograms is going to be very, very hard. That initial jump is just going to be, it's not going to be easy. And because you haven't got that core level of strength, it feels like lifting every single bit of weight. Like I remember when I first started in the gym, I'd do the leg extension machine. My leg would be shaking when I was doing it. I'd be like, like that. I'd be shaking because I just haven't got like a core level of strength in my legs. I'd be doing half the exercises that I do. I'd be shaking and trembling. And I'd be like, why the hell am I doing that? Like, why am I shaking? Yeah, it's because you haven't got the foundational level of strength. But once you do, it's going to be so much easier. So I'm going to wrap this up now, right? If you have never stepped foot in the gym before, this is your sign to go or to start even working out at home. I don't care what it is. Just start exercising. Start working out. Start now on your journey to obtaining your dream physique. Start now to level up your life, to be the best version of yourself because you owe it to yourself to prosper. And I know that you can do it. I know that you can get into the gym. I know that you can start exercising. This journey is so amazing once you start it. And you're going to be so thankful, your future self is going to be so thankful for your current self for embarking and starting this journey, okay? So I know you got this, all right? Get into the gym and get started. You got this.